Kidoke. Good morning and welcome. It's Jimmy Cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Today I am working on a 40 by 50 canvas and I'm going to be flipping some cups onto my canvas. I have it all prepared with the masking tape on the bottom so as to keep a nice clean bottom and my giant push pins. There is a link for the push pins in my Amazon shop down below or the Australian um, online store. So you can get them in the US or worldwide. I've, lots of people have asked me just lately, so I thought I would let you know. Rightio, I'm gonna do some flip cups and I'm working with lovely caramel, um, caramel colors, the metallic copper, caramel gold, um, some sand color, and of course some <coughs> excuse me <coughs> burnt umber with some silver in it to give it a bit of uh, metallic silver in it to give it a bit of oomph a bit of glow in there which should work out very nicely um, this is my pre-mixed black which I've put my own pouring medium in the recipes oops in the drop down box underneath this video I'm just gonna do my edges if my uh, thing wants to play up on me so it's obviously got a few goobers so I'll just stick a skewer down the hole um, and it's obviously got something that's blocking it but never mind we just work through it no panic I'm just using this uh, little sponge brush to just do my edges first um, you can there's lots of obviously ways that I've done this in previous videos I leave the edges till last or a pour paint, um, let the paint run over the edges. It's whatever you choose to do for any particular style you're doing. You can, um, you'll find your own groove for it, what you would like to do. But today I am just doing this. It's, it's actually um, a blue-black navy. I made it with phalo blue, a good dash of black, and some very dark green makes a really nice dark navy and um yeah it kind of makes the black a blacker black if you get my drift i didn't really mean to <laughs> put so much paint on it but never mind it'll be fine might as well just go over it now i've done it what i flip on top will be absolutely fine and maybe with any luck i might leave some negative space but Anybody that knows me knows I'm not very good with leaving negative space. I just get carried away. As in life, I hate negative space. <laughs> negative people. So there you go. That's my nice black blue base. And I'm going to just move this a little forward. And I'm going to fill my cup up now with my paints so I'm going to start with this gold there this is all pre-mixed with my pouring medium that's in the drop down box so I'm, whatever color you put in the bottom will be the last color that comes out when you do a tilt so always be mindful of that and the same you know the last color that you put in on top will be the first out now this is my um, burnt umber mixed with silver actually so as to give it it's a metallic silver so it's got a really beautiful sparkle in there and then I've got some of my champagne gold and it's mixed with 50% metallic gold 50% silver so it gives this lovely champagne color so a little bit more of my burnt umber and now I'll go to the sand. This is, they're all global colours, global impasto paints. There's links for them down below. So I'm popping a bit of that in there. And now I will go to my, if it'll come out, the my um, metallic copper, which I've got already pre-mixed all of these in the bottles. I do. So a good dash of that. Go back to my gold. So they're all these lovely, yummy caramel colours, sort of, well, earthy, 
beautiful and they're shimmering because they're metallics so back to the champagne gold that's looking yummy very yummy and go back to the metallic copper I think that's probably all I will need and I'm going to put a bed a bed for it to sit on my cup Radio, so it will slip nicely hopefully move my canvas back down into place move my cups because I'm very clever well not very clever in knocking them over while I'm working so got these yummy colors here and today I think I'm just gonna not flip I'm gonna pour and see how we go to try and get this The more you kind of move with your hand, the more likely you are of mixing your colours up. You know, uh, but I suppose pouring straight out the cup gives less chance of the paints mixing. But it's kind of like a um, galaxy, isn't it? A galaxy pour, I guess, if you left that shape. But I guess that would be too thick. It would probably crack but anyway let's go with this remembering I'm trying 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 to keep a negative space in here so I don't want to lose all my yummy colors so I'm gonna just gentle tilt tilt it back probably slower would be the go so I've got to slow down. It's definitely shimmery. I'll turn it around. I haven't done one of these for a while, I don't believe. I can't remember, I've done so many. And obviously you could put a uh, fill a bigger cup right up so you could fill the whole canvas with this but as I said I wanted the negative space in this I wanted some negative space in it I'm gonna leave that there I'm gonna start tilting over to this way that's got some beautiful effects in here um, and those lovely colors metallic caramels I'm going to re-centre it now because I don't want to push the paint anywhere else. I'm quite happy with those effects. So if you re-centre it so you haven't got all the thickness of the paint in one spot. That's beautiful. And these kind of paintings, they sell really well. They just, um, people see different things in them and they just sell really well. Where am I going? I want my little bit of cardboard just to do some little You don't have to do the well you don't have to do anything, it's just that you do whatever you feel is right, I guess. I don't really I'm saying I shouldn't be doing any of this, but I'm still going, aren't I? I think that is pretty much done. It has got some lovely, um, is it called strations? The lovely effects in it and the rings in it are beautiful. Colours are shining. So when this has 
a coat of varnish or resin it will absolutely pop it's going to go over it with my heat gun beautiful beautiful this is a very easy um, technique to do for fluid art pourers beginners so it's very easy to do you get lovely results and you can do it for whatever color your decor is or but that is beautiful it's gorgeous I love it so there you go my lovelies oh that's another pretty one add to the wall so my lovelies if you want to do this easy easy cup pour very easy nice and relaxed go give it a go let me know how you go please um give me a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't it absolutely costs you nothing it's free 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 and it helps me until tomorrow please take care and i will see you then bye for now